Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Anyway, like always, I have some interesting photos to discuss today. All of them are old photos, but still very well worth discussing now. In my opinion, these photos are very useful to open people's eyes about the dark world that they consume in mass media. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Emma Watson is an it celeb at this particular moment, and of course, the media attention comes with a bunch of symbolic stuff, even photo leaks. Some controversy surrounded the following Vanity Fair photoshoot, because Emma posed under a somewhat revealing shirt, prompting accusations of her being a fake feminist. As usual, mass media completely overlooked the core meaning of the photoshoot. Monarch Mind Control, where Emma is symbolically under the spell of a handler. In this pic, Watson is trapped in a cage, while birds are free around her. The cage is chained to what appears to be a piece of cloth, which illustrates that her state of confinement is mental, and not physical. As a whole, the image represents Watson being under mind control. On the left, we can make out a face made out of cage wire. Does it represent the handler, the one who has created Emma's mental prison? Here, Emma is lifted in the air by a man. Through trauma, the MK handler causes the slave to dissociate which comes with a feeling of weightlessness. In other words, this picture symbolically alludes to extreme pain and torture at the hands of a handler, and the human brain's natural response to it. Dissociation. This image is also a reference to dissociation, specifically the feeling of total disorientation that it causes. The floating objects and the broken clock allude to the loss of the concepts of space and time during dissociation. This piece illustrates the blurring between reality and fiction during mind control. Emma is embedded inside a picture frame and a perspective that is somewhat impossible. The image conveys the loss of one's humanity during MK. Once again, this is happening under the supervision of the handler. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. As usual, the one eye sign popped up everywhere around the world, often in places that you would not expect, but also in places you would fully expect. This product was promoted during the Super Bowl, and its logo couldn't be more obvious. The triple six one eye hand sign, the fingers make three sixes. All this premium bottled water is marketed as something very artistic and inspired, the truth is that it is owned by the PepsiCo conglomerate which is owned by powerful elite people, the same people who are trying to permeate everything artistic with their symbolism. This symbol is seen literally everywhere in Netflix's a series of unfortunate events. Is it a reference to the earlier triple six sign? Guess who's a big fan of this hand sign? You've guessed it. Emma Watson. The Victoria's Secret model, Taylor Hill, puts up that very same hand sign in a somewhat creative way in Marie Claire Indonesia. More one eye action in Marie Claire Taiwan. This symbol needs to be seen newsstands around the world. The media conglomerate Condé Nast has released the first issue of Vogue Arabia. On the cover, is Gigi Hadid and the One Eye sign. The title written in Arabic says, Eye on the East. The elite truly has its eye on the East, and the West. Cantal Jensen is a leading lady of Dutch television. A few years ago, she launched a new magazine, and the cover is basically a big tribute to the one eye sign. The eye on her shirt is there, to make sure you 100% understand that this is all about the one eye sign, and nothing else. Another European magazine cover, another fat one eye sign. Donna Moderna means modern woman in Italian. Hiding one eye is very modern. Basic Magazine is into basic occult elite imagery. This is Dita Von Teese with one eye hidden. 
Nita Von Teis, doing it again to sell expensive gloves. Meanwhile, Gigi's sister, Bella Hadid, is doing a devil's horn plus one eye sign combo to promote something. This is an ad for an art exhibit entitled 9x9x9 at the National Gallery of Denmark. Even national art needs to be tainted. This is a promotional poster for the movie Kong Skull Island. All hail the one-eyed king. This is the promotional poster of the German movie, Work on Otter. One Eye. Every single character poster promoting Vampire Diaries features cracks around one eye. I never watched Pretty Little Liars, so I assume it is about pretty girls who keep telling lies. Whatever the case may be, the ad promoting one of the seasons is one big occult elite tribute. Most of the girls have one eye hidden. The other eye is strategically placed at the top of a triangle. The first image promoting the sequel of Jurassic World features a young girl looking up to a dinosaur skull. Although the skull appears to be of a triceratops, the exaggerated horns makes it reminiscent to the head of Baphomet. Before you go to the comments and type bro you're reaching bro. Look at this and compare. The goat of Mendes made to fit an inverted pentagram. Rahanna strategically hides one eye, while being very edgy, she's holding a lighter, in paper magazine. Basically, Rihanna has been doing it for years. Her entire career has revolved around her looking pissed and hiding one eye. In this ad, she is selling some expensive jewelry. She still needs to let us know who owns all of this. The Kids Choice Awards is, in my humble opinion, worse than cancer and World War I combined. The fact that it is aimed specifically to kids makes it even worse than these two awful things combined. The group Little Mix delivered an uncomfortably sexual performance while wearing clothes with strange messages. The girl on the left, I don't know her name and don't care, is wearing a shirt on which is written sick and twisted depraved with a snake going inside a skull's eye socket. Depraved means marked by moral corruption or perversion. Sounds about right. On the black shirt is an inverted pentagram, the symbol of black magic and Satanism. The group won the award favorite global music star. Sounds about right. The K-pop group Six Bomb released two singles entitled Getting Prettier Before and After, where the entire group underwent actual radical plastic surgery to change their faces. I've made several videos about K-pop, its occult symbolism and the exploitation of its artists, and this latest stunt further confirms the lack of control these girls have over their careers, let alone their physical integrity. In the 1990s, Lollapalooza was a major music festival that featured the biggest names in alternative rock. After being accused of losing its alternative soul, the tour died in 1998. In 2004, it was revived and retooled to become an international weekend destination festival. Back in 1993, record producer Steve Albini said, Lollapalooza is the worst example of corporate encroachment into what is supposed to be the underground. It is just a large-scale marketing of bands that pretend to be alternative, but are in reality just another facet of the mass cultural exploitation scheme. He said that back in 1993. I can't even imagine what he must be thinking now. A simple look at the promotional material of the festival reveals that it is a super corporate event that is deeply infected with the occult elite's mindset. In this ad, you get a nice glimpse into what Lollapalooza is about. A girl is doing the one-eye sign while sticking out a lizard-like tongue. A guy trying hard to be the devil and a whole lot of corporate sponsors. Another girl doing the one-eye sign also, a guy who appears to be a robot. In short, the target market. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. 
apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.